name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly beloved in Christ, and Father Emmanuel, Avia, and I will share with you a touch of God's love, thus a short of reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Thursday, 29 June 2023. The readings are taken from Acts 12, 1 to 11, Psalm 33, 2 to 9, 2 Timothy 4, 4 6 to 8, 17 to 18, and Matthew 16, 13 to 19. The theme of the reflection is how to be undefeatable, how to be undefeatable. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, and their lives teach us how to be undefeatable in life. In the Gospel, Jesus asked the Apostles, Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say he is John the Baptist, some Elijah, others Jeremiah, and or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up. You are the Christ, he said, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, son of Jonah, you are a happy man, because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered lost in heaven. This implies that Peter became undefeatable because he acknowledged Jesus as the Messiah. A further reading of the text shows that he needed to acknowledge this not only by lips but by deeds. For when he tried to stop Jesus from carrying his cross, Jesus renounced him by saying, Satan, Get behind me. In another place, when he tried to stand against the will of Jesus by not allowing him to wash his feet, Jesus said, If I do not if you do not allow me to wash you, you have nothing to do with me. The first reading shows or confirms the fact that Peter surrendered his life to Jesus not only by words, but by deeds, even to the point of being ready to die for the sake of Jesus. Because after Herod beheaded James to discourage the disciples from preaching Jesus, Peter never stopped. So he too was arrested to be tried and killed. But an angel came and rescued him since his time was not yet up to die. If we surrender totally to Jesus, nothing can defeat or kill us unless he allows it. That is why in the second reading, St. Paul also tells us that because he has surrendered totally to Jesus, nothing has been able to kill him, but now his time has come to die. He says, My life is being poured away as a libation, and the time has come for me to be gone. I fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. All there is to come now is the crown of righteousness reserved for me, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all those who have longed for his coming, including you who are listening to me now. If we follow the example of Peter and Paul, we too can be undefeatable. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace, surrender completely to God. In the name of Jesus, you will be undefeatable and you will win the crown of glory. Amen. Can you share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel? Share now discussing this message with others. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. May Almighty God bless and protect you, Holy Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.